Hello, I'm doing this unboxing video outside because there's way too many people in my house and I'd never be able to get this done. It's the day after Comic Con. I got home last night at around 3. And boy, do I have a ton of stuff to open. I've got uh, three big box board games, several little figures, and things like that. But uh, I was most impressed with this. Um, Simon, come on, cool mini or not, whatever you want to call them. They had a booth, incredibly tiny, but uh, they still had a booth at Comic Con that I visited almost every day. And I was trying to get some, uh, I was very interested in this game, I was trying to get some information from them. And they had a, uh, a demo event going on at the Marriott that I regretfully had missed, but I was at a panel and the panel was cool. So I just finally bought it. And uh, when they told me, after I bought it, they, uh, they told me that the artist was actually in Artist Sally and uh, that he would sign the game for me. So that's what that signature is right here. This is the um, retail version of the game and it's not out in stores yet. And this game is called Gateway Uprising. I've only seen uh, one video about it and it's kind of a, a a preview playthrough. It's like an area control slash deck building game. And as you can see, it's pretty incredible looking artwork. And I haven't opened it yet. It's just the plastic was peeled down so I could let the artist sign it. But I'm very anxious to see what's inside. So let's take a look. Let's look at the back here. Yeah, these, these are like uh, city tiles that um, you can take over and uh, defend slash protect. You've got uh, minis that are put on there and monsters that you um, battle and defeat with whatever cards you put in your deck. That's the simplest way I could put it because I'm dreadfully ignorant about this game, but what I've been told about it sounded pretty intriguing. Uh, deck building and area control, that's kind of brilliant. Well, let me read the back to you. Um, Magic made Gateway the envy of the known world. And now magic must be and now magic must help rebuild once and now magic must help rebuild a once great city that has been ha handcuffed and beaten into submission. An authoritarian regime headed by Chancellor Gideon is ruling Gateway, while monstrous hordes threaten to destroy everything. Rebel factions everywhere work to save the city from, di from its doom. Gateway is a deck building game where you start with a simple deck of cards and must, over successive rounds, recruit insurgent, merchant, and support cards to your faction. Smartly creating their deck allows players to build a strong and steady army ready to fight against monsters and guards for control of city districts. All right. Let's open this up. Yeah, that's a gruesome looking monster. Yeah, the creatures on here are amazing looking. And of course the artist had uh, prints and big huge giant things to buy. Let's see, what's it say here? It says, Our city's history is inseparable from magic and those who have practiced it which is why it is all the more ironic that we should now find ourselves living in an age where those at the helm of this city have outlawed that which it was built upon. Magic made Gateway the envy of the known world. Now magic must help rebuild a once great city that has been handcuffed and beaten into submission. Concerned citizen of Gateway. All right. It is a bit windy out here. Oh, wow. All right, let's take a look here. Components, city setup. Now I'm not sure if the if the city setup is pre-done or you you do it turn by turn or how that goes. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. I can't wait to play this game. It's almost got to I don't know. It's not quite sci-fi. It's not quite steampunk. Um, definitely not uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I suppose. 
Let's look at these shits here. I'm guessing these are monster chits. We've got these giant fish and these weird unicorn horn things. Those things look like those deep sea creatures that have the light dangling from its head. Nice. So those are some creatures and counter chits. More counters. Lots of counters. Wow. Alright, here we go. So we've got turn structure cards. These must be the city tiles. They're a bit, uh, I was expecting more thick kind of uh, cardboardy. These are really thin. Let me try to pull them out here. There we go. And there's a big deep pocket underneath here. Recess, that's what you call it. So I guess uh, you put all the chits in that area. And these are double-sided. This is uh, Bridgetown and Ruins. I don't know. This is Canal City. And this is Ruins again. Oh, wait. I see what this is. All right, that's why they're double-sided. I'm guessing that uh, this is the part you put face up when you're playing, and then when it gets uh, defeated by monsters or overrun or something over it, then it's ruins. So it'll be kind of useless to you, because you can see they have uh, special abilities on here. All right, that makes sense. Central City, and the ruins pretty much look the same. Cliff City. Crystal City. Harbor Town. High Falls. Market Town. That's cool looking. Swamp Town, that's my kind of town. And the University. Alright. And here we have, uh, wow, these are huge. These are some big decks of cards here. Look at that. It's a lot of cards. Runestone. What's that one say on the back? Gateway. Airship City Guard. Alright, so I'm guessing these are the bad guys that uh, get put out on the cities. And there's a lot of them too. That's all them, that is. What do we got here? Got the Red Templar. Here's, uh, I know not what these are. Oh, okay, these are stands for the, uh, I guess, for the creatures. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'll open up one of these decks, because there's a ton of cards, just to give you an idea of what they look like. Um, Merchant. Okay, so these, I'm guessing these Merchant cards are like the money that you use to purchase uh, cards for your deck. So most likely these are going to look the same, or a lot of them are going to look the same. Um, Support. Spellbones. Alright. So I'm guessing these are some kind of uh, ability cards you can buy. And maybe Airship City Guard. These are going to be the bad guys that guard the city. Insurgent. Alright, and these are your military. These are the people that help you fight. I'm guessing. I'm completely guessing on this. So let's open up the... Uh, City Guard deck. Let's see what's in it. I just have to find a seam or something to tear open here. I left my knife in the house. I've got a pair of shears over there, but they're a bit chunky. I'll use them as a last resort if I need to. And it looks like I will. Alright. Let me reach over there and grab it. Did that do the trick? Yes, it did. It's just going to take a little bit more work. Alright. Okay, it looks like the backs of these, yeah, okay. The backs of these are colored differently too. So what we got are... City Guards, Events, 
and the gateway cards. I forgot that they used an event deck type thing in this game. There's still a ton I don't know about it. Right, so those are the airships. Guard Captain. Deus Templar. Grand Inquisitor. Ooh, Inquisitor. Look at that. That's a stylish looking fellow. Patrol. Fish Tank. Elite Guard. These must be the events, right? Yeah, okay. Police quotas, intruder. These are all the same, just the uh, text is different. Let's get a look at some of that gorgeous artwork. So these are, uh, I'm guessing these are some of the monsters, maybe, or bad guys you fight. A cursed wizard. Trumpeter. Blunderbuss mage. Summoner. Claw Knight. Ooh, I like the look of him. Grave Master. Grand Levitator. And the Red Templar. Nice. Oh, and I guess, uh, that's, I knew I saw that card before. Right, so maybe these aren't all completely separate. But that's a good idea of what uh, what each deck contains. So one more time, this is uh, this is something I'm really proud of. I don't, I hardly ever just uh, jump on something from the ground and pick it up. But uh, one of the selling points was that it's not um, available in retail yet. I'm sure it will be soon. And it got signed by the artist. And that is Gateway Uprising by Simon Coolmania Not, whatever you want to call it. An area control deck building game by John Hawkins, Michelle Minard, and Sean Andrew Murray. I really look forward to playing this. Thanks for watching.